Through the Open Society Foundation, he donates almost half a billion dollars annually to charity causes all around the globe. Well, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I love people who give a lot of money to charity. I think that's fantastic. I do. Now, when you look at a charity, this is what I learned when I started to try to be responsible with my money. You look at people as an investment. Who's the, what's the best way to invest in people? But you need, if you're going to give away half a billion dollars every single year, you better have somebody who really knows how to manage it. And you better have somebody who has a big, big heart. Who is the person to head up your charitable arm, Mr. Soros? Well, he found, um, he just found the, the, I mean, he's just, just the founder of SDS, the radical student group from the 1960s. You remember. You remember the, the days of rage, riots? Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, and... And the, um, and the spin-off group, the Weather Underground. Yeah, just the guy who started this stuff, that's who heads the charitable arm. It's almost like subversive activities are kind of fun to Mr. Soros, in the, under the cover of humanitarian aid. So OSI spreads the money all over the country. But I'm sure, I'm sure the head of OSI, he's probably changed. One of the things that OSI funded was the shadow conventions uh, in 2000. It funneled, funneled uh, one-third of the Shadow Convention, who was hosted here. I mean, unless you were an avid you know, C-SPAN watcher, you probably don't remember them. But it was an attempt to, as they put it, focus on the issues that the parties just won't touch. Issues like campaign finance reform. Wait a minute. Last night, campaign finance reform. Now, that's a good humanitarian thing, isn't it? Seriously, that's going to feed a lot of children. Campaign finance reform. Remember we said that he spent over a million, over a hundred million dollars to get campaign finance reform. And uh, what happened? Oh yeah, I remember. It led to the boom in 501c3s like moveon.org or Media Matters or any of the other things that he seems to fund. They can take in as much money as they want. And now all of those, all of those political organizations are controlled by George Soros. But remember, it's humanitarian. One of the organizers of the Shadow Convention was Ariana Huffington, which is now getting the Huffington Post money from George Soros to be able to hire reporters. Isn't that great? She was uh, introducing here uh, in 2000 at the Shadow Convention, she was introducing somebody else, uh, another guest speaker, another co-organizer of the event. Watch. We are now moving to the second issue of the, of the Shadow Convention, the persistence of poverty in the middle of our prosperity. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome one of our conveners, the Reverend Jim Wallace, the head of the Carter Renewal, a new coalition of churches to fight poverty, and the editor of Sojourners magazine. Oh. He's also been a mentor and an inspiration to me. So get ready to be inspired, Jim Wallace. Praise Jesus, Jim Wallace, Sojourners, faith, politics, culture. That's right, Sojourners, didn't he get a bunch of money recently to help boycott me? That's right, I remember him now. And Sojourners, another group funded by OSI. George Soros, an atheist, dumping a whole bunch of money into a Christian organization. Well, that almost doesn't make sense. Oh, but it's humanitarian. <laughs> kind of makes you question the motives, though, doesn't it? Of course, it doesn't take long to see that his attraction to Jim Wallace is because he's a big government progressive. The solution is not with the people and the churches. It is get everybody into the government. He's infiltrating the churches. You see how this works? I know, I know. I'm sorry, Mr. Soros. It's just humanitarian aid. Step number two is to control the airwaves. Has George Soros done this at all? Well, open society, I mean, it's, I mean, it's very innocent here. Um, and, and it's pure as a driven snow. Recently donated um, $1.8 million so that NPR could uh, hire new journalists. Do we have the NPR thing? Um, yeah, they just, $1.8 million so they could hire 100 journalists. And then Soros wrote a $100 million check to Media Matters to go along with, and I'm sorry, one million dollars to go along with uh, NPR, which was great. Their stated goal, by the way, what got him to write that was uh, they were going to get me off the air and then destroy Fox. Isn't that great? 
By the way, um, he gave that million dollars and all that money after we, uh, we were threatened, I mean, we were given a gift by Mr. Soros, and uh, they realized that I wouldn't shut up. I wouldn't stop. And so then he decided, well, I guess I'm going to have to destroy him another way. Million dollars also to the Tea Party Tracker.org. Tea Party Tracker.org. This is a website that they developed with the NAACP's media staff. It's supposed to expose the intolerant element of the Tea Party. Then the NAACP takes its content and collaborates with Think Progress, another Soros funded group, along with Media Matters. And there you go. The next three steps. Next. talking about the plan for control that George Soros uses to take control of governments. The first one was form a shadow government, uh, government using humanitarian aid as a cover. In George Soros's words, subversive activities. By the way, here's Sojourners. Here's a, here's a letter a friend of mine gave me today. This is me on the cover. Glenn Beck doesn't like us. We must be doing something right. It's a fundraising letter for this guy. Number two, control the airwaves. Is he doing that? Uh, yes. Number three, destabilize the state and weaken the government and build an anti-government uh, sentiment. Okay, so is he doing this? Well, again, we go back to his organization, his humanitarian organization, heavily funds the Tides Foundation. The Tides Foundation, $4.2 million. They're the ones that funded the anti-capitalist story of stuff indoctrination videos that we have told you that helps kids resent the government that supports a free market system. Tides itself takes some of its money and then sends it on to places like the Apollo Alliance, the home of Van Jones. They're the ones that also crafted the stimulus bill, you know, for the little guy, like Andy Stern. I think we all know how everyone feels about the stimulus bill. Also, OSI decides that uh, they're going to fund a place called the Center for American Progress. You know that one. That's a, a progressive think tank that turn out big government ideas and who get many of their ideas from another group, OSI funds, the IPS. This is the Institute for Policy Studies. You know what they've just come out with? This is great. They've just come out with uh, a couple of things. First, President Obama needs to bypass Congress and issue more executive orders now that the election is over. And they've come out with this exciting new report that says, quote, outside pressure, inside strategy. Wow, that sounds familiar. Inside strategy, outside pressure. It's almost like bottom-up, top-down. Why am I, what am I remembering here? Oh yeah, I remember Czechoslovakia. Top to bottom, bottom to top, inside out. Remind me of that, along with George Soros and Van Jones in just a few minutes. I'll show you something that will blow your mind. Step four. Step four is provoke an election crisis. Well, <laughs> that, of course, hasn't, they haven't done anything like that. You know, where you lose confidence in the vote? No, 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 of course not. Of course, you have OSI funding ACORN. Uh, this is a group that's willing to uh, sell, um, you know, human sex slave traffickers and give them a tax break. Soros also created this, SOS, the Secretary of State Project. This is a group that is specifically designed to groom and elect Secretary of States around the nation because they're the ones who have to certify election results. How do you think, uh, what's his name, uh, from Minnesota got in last time? Remember all that? Remember, Al Franken is, yeah, who's this project? Isn't that weird? They're the ones that call the shots. And Soros has pumped millions of dollars into voting-related groups, some of them legitimate, some get caught doing illegal things, some are kind of a little shady. I like this one myself, One America Votes. They get money from the tides. Remember, Soros funds that group. They sent illegal immigrants door-to-door -door in Washington State just before this last, last election to tell people that they were illegal, but you should get out and vote. There's George Soros for you. And then step number five, take power. Take power. This one is kind of hand in hand with stage demonstrations. This one's about to come. We've already seen the beginnings of it. The One Nation rally. We saw this. This is the labor union rally in D.C. as a response to 828, a project of the Tides Center, a.k.a. George Soros Group. OSI also donated 
to the Ruckus Society. They're an environmental, a radical environmental justice group known for their aggressive tactics. Remember, that was the guy I told you about last night. It was causing all the riots in Seattle. Uh, then uh, OSI has donated to several groups who are trying to get me off the air. You have Faith in Public Life. That's funded by OSI. They're calling for my head. You have Sojourners, of course. They're calling for my head. You have Media Matters, all of them out of the pocket of George Soros. Mark my words, and I believe I said that for the last two years on inflation. As I told you, massive inflation will come, and you're beginning to see it now. Staged demonstrations and riots in the streets, you will see them here. What you're seeing today in the UK, this is students demonstrating in the streets. That's a demonstration, by the way. They will come here too. Because what are they writing about? That they are cutting services at schools and raising tuitions. Really? Well, they will come and they will be orchestrated, funded, or they will be exploited by Soros-like groups. If you're watching this show, and George Soros is the puppet master, so I'm sure he's having somebody else watch it. What happens? What happens to all of these groups? What happens to all of these groups? This man is playing God. He thinks he's God. God created the earth in six days and then rested on the seventh. Well, George Soros has created all of these things. And, and believe me, it's not just in fact here. Do you have this? Yeah, come here, Aaron. Come here. You stand over here. Stand. Uh, lovely and talented, Aaron. These are the open society. These are, uh, these are just the things that he has uh, donated to. I just want to show you because we don't have a lot of time. Um, so I just wanted to show you the list. These are the list of the organizations that are involved, you know, in these, in these five steps. And we wrote it out for you. But I just wanted to show you that, it, you know, it's no big deal. It's not like you're overpowered or anything like this. Um, there's more. There's, this is less than half of them. But, uh, but other than that, there's, there's nothing to see here. Just move on with your lives. Nothing to see here, folks. All right, I want to uh, show you some video that um, has been bothering me for a while, and I, I mentioned it at the top of the hour and, um, and also yesterday. I think this will tie things together. I hope it does if you've watched both episodes. First one is from Bertha Lewis. Um, she's in front of a bunch of young socialists of America. And here's what she says. Look at the high, get out into the street. You really have got to circle the wagons. This is not rhetoric or hyperbole. She talks this is real. She talks in here about um, how um, these tea partiers are going to come and get you. This is just like when they rounded up the Japanese. I mean, it's quite a stirring speech. That bothered me. That really bothered me. Because I do believe take power is the next st step here. Stage demonstrations. Riots, they need trouble. But something bothered me even more. In the summer, Van Jones cloaked a message here in peace and love. And it stuck out to me. I want you to listen to what he says. You handle the top down. But it's also bottom up and inside out. Top down, bottom up, and inside out. So now your challenge as you leave here, our challenge, is to take care of that bottom up part and that inside out part, the heart part. The heart part. <laughs> that's what did it for me. He said the heart part. I'm like, that's not, there's something wrong here. But I didn't know what this meant. This is a tried and true technique that communists use to crush people of a nation between the members of a government at the top. Remember, he said, you've taken care of the top part. What does that mean? You put the right radicals in power. You've taken care of the top part. Then they get the radicals at the bottom to cause chaos. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I tell you, don't take my word for anything. You go ahead and look it up yourself. Let me take you back to where I took you at the beginning of this program, Czechoslovakia. I only told you half the story of what the Czechoslovakians thought was happening to their country in the late 1940s. After World War II, 